This is a story about the children at Christmas. Once upon a time there was a group of children who lived in a really nice neighbourhood where most of the people owned their own homes and businesses. All of the children had parents who could afford to buy them what they wanted when they wanted it. One day a little girl called Emily said to her mum, Mummy, there are some children who live on the next street whose parents can't afford to buy them new things. I was wondering if I could give them some of our clothes we don't wear and some of our toys we don't play with anymore. That's a lovely idea, sweetheart. Why don't we go through all your things now, Emily's mum said to her. Once Emily, her mum and her siblings had finished sorting the things that they no longer wanted, Emily went out to play with her friends. She told them what she was doing for the children on the next street. That's a great idea. Why don't we all do that, said Emily's best friend Eva. Then Emily come up with another idea. She said to her friends, Why don't we all save up our pocket money and do lots of extra jobs for people for money? If we explain that we are raising money to buy some poor children in need some Christmas presents next year, I'm sure they'll help us. We need to tell our parents what we are going to do so they can help us too. We also need to get more kids together. The more kids we have to help us, the more money we'll raise. That day they managed to gather up quite a lot of kids who so were all willing to help them. The next day was Christmas Day and they all went round and gave the children all of the things they had collected for them. They told them that everything had come from Santa but he left them at the wrong houses. All of the children were very happy and excited. They all thought that Santa had forgotten about them. Their parents were very, very grateful and quite overwhelmed. The children even gave them a Christmas food hamper so they could have a decent Christmas dinner together. During the next year all the children worked very hard doing extra jobs at home and around the neighbourhood. It didn't matter what the weather was like, they still did what they felt they needed to do to help the other children who were, late, who were less fortunate than themselves. They went round mowing people's lawns, cutting people's hedges, doing bits of shopping for people, doing bits of ironing. They made everyone's beds at home and they even helped the neighbours do their beds. The local supermarket and small shops allowed the children to help people pack their shopping bags. Emily's big sister Ashley went busking a few times and gave Emily half of the money she earned. By Christmas, they had managed to raise about £2,000 between ten of them. Their parents were very proud of them and they all gave the kids £100 each towards the money they had already raised. This brought the total up to £3,000. The children were all very excited and they couldn't wait to go out and buy Christmas presents for all of the kids who were less fortunate than themselves. They even bought food so that all of the children and their families could have a decent Christmas dinner together as a family. On Christmas Day, the children who had done all of the fundraising managed to get one of their dads to play Santa and to deliver the presents to the children. As you can imagine, when the children saw Santa they were very excited. When their presents were handed to them and they, they received everything they asked for, they couldn't believe it. One little girl wanted a bead set so that she could make bangles and necklaces for her friends and family which she got. She also got the pink wife mountain bike and everything else she wanted. Another little girl and her sister got dolls and clothes for them and clothes for themselves. They both received a pink bike with tassels, a basket and a seat for their dolls and everything they wanted. A little boy got a scooter, a bike, a skateboard and everything else he asked for. All of the children got everything they asked for and more. 
Every family also received a Christmas hamper each so they could have a Christmas dinner. The adults were given alcohol hampers each. When the children had bought all the gifts etc, they had exactly £400 left over. They used all that money by buying warm blankets for each of the families and sharing what was left between all of them even though it wasn't much. All of the parents whose kids had been involved in the fundraising were exceptionally proud of them. The fundraising didn't stop there though, as every year the children raised money to buy food and Christmas presents for the children and their families who were less fortunate than themselves. Throughout the year they also continued to give the children toys they no longer played with and clothes they no longer wore. When Emily and all the other children involved in the fundraising grew up and had children of their own, they told them all about what they had done for the children who were less fortunate than themselves. Emily's little girl Mary Ann decided that she wanted to do the same thing, so she did. Emily and her friends are hoping that this act of kindness will continue for many, many years to come. The end. Thank you.